you have encountered the term variable before. And we can say that a variable is the unit being observed. It assigns a numerical measure to which we categorize it as a quantitative variable or a category or known as a categorical or qualitative variable. As part of discussing the probability concept, it is also important for you to understand the term random variable. So what is a random variable? Recall the term experiment and outcome that you have learned in the fundamental of probability. For example, our experiment is to find out the FABUE's statistic and business class exam score. The outcome is thus the exam score, which can vary from 0 to 100. This numerical value assigned in the outcome of a random experiment is the random variable. A random variable can also be the event of a random experiment. From our grading score, we can determine the event as a student to get an A, where if she or he get a score between 8 to 100, get a B if the score is between 65 to 70, 79, get a C if the score is between 55 to 64, and get a D if the score is below 54. This A, B, C, and D is our random variable. A random variable can also be the element of each of an event, such as the score to get an A, the score to get an B, a B, a C, or the score to get a D, which is the score that are not the elements from score to get an A, B, or a C. Thus, by definition, a random variable is a function that assigns a numerical value to the outcome of an experiment. From the exam score case, if we define the experiment as an exam score, like in our first experiment, the random variable would be the score between 0 to 100. In our second experiment, the random variable would be the score A, B, C, D, and E. And our, in our last experiment, let's say our experiment is the score for a student to get a B. Thus, the random variable is the score between 80, 79, and so on until the lowest is 60, 66. This numerical value assigned in the outcome of a random experiment is the random variable, which is generally denoted as X. Let us try to again to define this random variable from the case we have here. India is the second most populous country in the world, with a population of over 1 billion people. Although the government has offered various incentives for population control, some argue that the birth rate, especially in rural India, is still too high to be sustainable. The table shows the size of household and the probability distribution for the household size in India. A random variable is the number of household, which is defined between 1 to 8. And the next column here shows the probability of each number of household to happen. Now I assume you, can, you have fully understand the concept of random variable. Since I have mentioned here the probability of each of the random variable and the term probability distribution, let us continue our discussion to probability distribution. From the probability of each random variable, if we plot it as a bar chart, the result is a probability distribution as shown here. We will discuss on the use of a probability distribution in another video. What I want to show you here is probability distribution is formed by plotting the, the probability distribution for each random variable 
as a chart. You can see here the x-axis is the random variable and the y-axis is the probability of each random variable. Before we finish our discussion of random variable, I would like to explain the types of random variable. So we can divide the types of random variable into two categories. The first one is discrete random variable. What are the examples of a discrete random variable? Let's say it's a number of cars passing between say 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. at an intersection. Or the number of COVID-19 patients diagnosed per day. Another example is number of days raining on September 22. So we can say a discrete random variable are variable that are countable. And it does not, it cannot be in the form of having a decimal behind the number. And then the second category is a continuous random variable. For example, a continuous random variable is the amount of gasoline consumption that is in kilometer per liter. So we can say um, 2.3 kilometer per liter, uh, 4.65 kilometer per liter. So uh, it has a decimal behind uh, the comma. Yeah, there's a comma and a decimal behind the number. And then the amount of water consumed per day, let's say uh, 1.3 liters, uh, 0.45 liter, or 2.6 liter, and so on. And then the temperature per day in September 22, it could be uh, 40 degrees Celsius, 36 degrees Celsius or 36.4 degrees Celsius and so on. So that's um, just like how you define a discrete and continuous variable. Uh, the concept is still the same. Another important note that you should know is I want like to show you example that cannot be defined as a random variable. The first one is the colors of a car, the brands of mineral water in the market, ethnicity, and the name of a city having flood throughout the year of 2019. These are examples that cannot be defined as a random variable.